Hi, welcome to your love readings. This is for um, Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Starting with Leo. Well, four cards fell out. We have the three of chalices, three of cups. Celebration of some sort. We have death card. The transformation. Six of swords. Which this one just does not make sense whatsoever. There's like someone in a fish costume, someone in a wolf costume, a joker. In other decks, this means science <laughs> and moving to smoother waters. And the Knave of Pentacles. And in the bottom is Judgment. It's like some sort of cover up. Pull from this deck and see. And this is for the month of December, by the way. The Two of Pentacles, Leo. It's like he's creeping up behind her. Maybe you're not, maybe someone's doing something unexpected. And this, I don't remember who we got this for, but this came up before. The Nine of Pentacles. He's cutting her hair. Maybe you need a haircut. That could be it. In the erotic deck. Leo, month of December. King of Water, Scorpio. Like he's posing for a yearbook photo. I can tell you how this is erotic at all, but King of Water, kings are powerful energies, so maybe you're just feeling powerful. The Seven of Fire is on the bottom. Mars and Leo. Just like a lot of limbs everywhere. Legs for days, I want to say. Um, maybe there's a sickness, or you're going to the hospital. Maybe you're meeting someone at the hospital. Because probably this isn't <laughs> what's happening at the hospital for you, but you never know. Okay. On to Virgo. Chariot. Maybe something's happening in a car. This is the Knight of Swords, which I would normally associate with Gemini, so maybe watch the Gemini one. It's air energy coming through. The Knight of Chalices, the Knight of Cups. And the King of Chalices, the King of Cups. Knight and King, a lot of emotional energy coming through. 
you'll be feeling pretty emotional the next month or so. Or those are people in your life. They represent you. It just depends. So take these for whatever they mean to you. That stands out to you. Virgo, month of December. Yeah. Fire, eight of fire, eight of wands, swiftness. Any whispering in her ear or something? Can't tell you what she says. She's imagining things. but it is Mercury and Sagittarius. And on the bottom is the Four of Cups, which means luxury in um, the Toth deck. This is Moon and Cancer. Yeah. So these two guys have stumbled upon this woman who's getting water in the brook. They're interested in what she's doing. Usually this is noticing something, making sure you don't miss something. Maybe you don't miss out on an opportunity to meet someone or go on a date or something like that. Just don't miss any opportunities this month. Okay. Now Libra. The Libras need to know for the month of December. The King of Wands. This came up for another sign. I forget which one at this point. And on the bottom is the Devils, came up for Aries and another sign. So temptation, feeling tempted, King of Wands, maybe that's you, maybe that's your partner or someone you're interested in, maybe you're tempting them. Maybe you're a big temptation for them. So this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is the great card to get. It means wealth and prosperity. Here she's lying on her back and he's like worshipping her, maybe. And on the bottom is the King of Wands again in a different deck. So definitely King of Wands is powerful energy for Libra in the month of December. So look out for King of Wand energy if that's not you. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I'd rewatch the Aries video since you both got the devil card. Maybe there's something for you in there. Mirror, the ten of pen I mean the the wheel of fortune, Jupiter. This means to someone you are perfect. And the three of fire, three of wands, Sun and Aries, so definitely go back and watch the Aries video. On the bottom is the four of air, Jupiter and Libra. So that works out for Libra. Let's move right along to Scorpio. The Magician, number one. Guy looks like a chef or something. Looks like 
looks very smug and content with himself. He's making something and he's using her as a table to rest his arm on. Using all your mental faculties is usually what it's talking about. As above, so below, the I am energy, using all the tools at your disposal. On the bottom is the King of Wands. It's come up a lot lately. Or Libra, especially. That Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Scorpios need to know for the month of December. The Knight of Chalices. Some water energy coming through. It's split at the Knave of Wands. Messages of fire energy. There's some challenges. And the Three of Swords on the bottom. Keep in mind, these cards have different meanings to them, this deck. And um, Three of Swords may or may not be the heartache card that it is in other decks. It can also mean three things, three people, three names, three minutes, three anything. Here he's playing a harp and there's another woman coming in and just a lot of lounging around and yeah. So the knave, the knight, and the three of swords. And from the erotic deck, Scorpio for the month of December. The emperor came up for someone else as well, Aries. The Emperor is about your home base, and I think it came up for Cancer. So, and on the bottom is the Six of Air, larger than life, science sometimes. Okay, well, I hope you have a great December, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.